Jeff Adrian called Michigan State the closest thing to a Big East team that he has seen outside of the conference. But can they hang with them in the front court? Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on Destination Detroit presented by Denny's. Brought to you by Denny's new Grand Slam, which everything you love about the Grand Slam now in a sandwich. Breaking down the front court with my colleagues, Tim Brando of CBS Sports and, of course, uh, Steve Lapis of CBS College Sports. And guys, uh, uh, Steve, we'll start with you. All the publicity about Michigan State. The question is, can they hang with UConn in the front court? Adrian and Hashim Thabit clogging up the middle. Can Goran Sutan pull him out? Stanley Robinson and his five blocks that he had in the last game. When you look at this matchup, it looks like advantage UConn, but there may be some subplots here. Well, there are some subplots, but I think it's advantage UConn. Let's start there. Now, these are two of the best rebounding teams in the country without question. What UConn has different, though, is Hashim Thabit, who leads the nation in block shots as a team. They've led the nation in block shots. And mind you, they do this, and they are the least fouling team in America. So when you rebound like that, you block shots like that, you play defense like they do, and you don't foul, that's a pretty good advantage. Yeah, it is. And let me also say this. As much as they block shots and as many advantages as they have on whole, and we can talk backcourt, we can talk front court. When you start talking about who do you give the advantage to, it's impossible to give Michigan State on paper an advantage anywhere, all right? But if you want to measure why Michigan State can win this game in a one-and-done situation, it's because this is the team that is most built out of the Big Ten like Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh was a matchup nightmare for this team. Go right to the chest and attack. I think all those guys can do that, but Sutan can come out, and the dilemma is going to be Who's going to guard him? If it's the beat, I think he's in trouble. I think we're talking early foul trouble, and I don't think Jim Calhoun's going to be dumb enough to do that. I think he's going to put Stanley Robinson on, on, on Goran Sutan so he can protect the beat, but then will Sutan do damage to him as well, and can they get some, some lanes to the basket without maybe having those block shots that they would normally have. Steve, what do you need if you're Tom Izzo from Goran Sutan in this ballgame? You need him to make threes. I think the thing that will put a smile on Tom Izzo's face earliest in this game is Goran Sutan makes a oh, three absolutely. early. Yeah. That could change yeah. the entire game, not only from them scoring inside it, but Kalen Lucas getting to the basket more, yeah. opening things up. Yeah. So I think one of the most important factors in this game I don't know about you, Tim, is him hitting a couple of Let me of tell shots. you something. In 1994, 15 years ago, <laughs> Charlotte. History lesson. Well, it, it happened, okay? Arkansas beat Duke. The reason they did it was because the Corliss Williamson got a lot of help from a big by the name of Dwight Stewart, who was a matchup nightmare, who came off the bench and hit threes. It softened up Duke's interior. Then Williamson went off late in the game, and then Scotty Thurman won it at the end. Anytime you've got a big that can hit threes, you got a huge advantage. And I think it's going to open the lane up for Summers. I think it's going to open it up for Lucas to do damage because he's making those shots. It makes everybody better. And that's one thing Connecticut can't, cannot get from their bigs mm -hmm. is a face-up right. jump shot. They can't get that. You know, that, that's the one thing, too, when you talk about Michigan State against Connecticut. We're talking about the bigs, of course, but when you discuss the bigs, it's in context with everybody else. Yeah. Michigan State and Kalen Lucas need to drive the lane. And Hashim Thabit needs to be out of there for them to be able to drive the lane. Well, let's understand, he's not going to be out of there. In other words, Jim Cahill going to do everything he can to he's, have him on Ray. Not, yeah, he's <laughs> not going to put him on, even, on, 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 on Goran Suta. No way. Yeah. He's going to guard Raymar Morgan. Or how about this? They may even say, listen, you stand in the lane, and if Raymar Morgan wants to try a couple of 12, 14-foot shots, maybe yeah. we'll even test that. That's yeah. how much. It, that's how important it is for Connecticut, defensively and rebounding-wise, to have to beat in the lane. Chess you know, match Robinson, starts there. Stan, Chess match Stanley starts Robinson's there. the other one interesting part to this because of how, how athletic he is. You, you know, you think about maybe Robinson and, and Raymar Morgan, but we haven't seen the Raymar Morgan that we expected at the beginning part of the year. Those are the two interesting keys here. Which guy plays better may decide the, this game. Yeah, and you know what? Stanley Robinson gets blocked shots in a different position than to beat. He gets them from the backside with his athletic ability going back to the, the offensive player has already beaten the defense. Robinson goes back and blocks it that way. When the beat gets his, it's obviously from underneath going back and it's a fast break. So it's a different kind of block shot, but it's still a very effective block shot, no doubt about it. 14 points, eight rebounds a game in this tournament, and really, he's the guy that's made everybody forget Jerome Dyson, not Kimba right. Walker. It's really Stanley Robinson. Yeah, yeah. He's been tremendous, and he was against Missouri. Still think this is the first game where the loss of Dyson could expose 
Connecticut. I really do. We'll we'll have to see and uh, and find out if that actually takes place. Uh, Michigan State certainly deeper than UConn. Yeah, they're the, the they're the Pittsburgh of the Big Ten and they the backcourt as well. That's Destination Detroit presented by Denny's. Don't forget to bring a friend to Denny's on April 8th from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and get a free Grand Slam, which when you buy a Grand Slam. For more on the UConn-Michigan State game, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. For Tim Brando and Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.